Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to today's meeting. Um, I'd like to introduce Natasha Olsen, who is the uh, managing, what are you, the president now, CEO of Healing Through Love. Um, and I'll let um, Healing Through Love is a is a support group for survivors of domestic violence, and I became involved with Natasha um, sometime in April and became the secretary of of their group and. Um, and so I'll just hand over to Natasha and she can tell you a little bit more about what's going on with the group. Thanks, Rose. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, so it only takes one person to make a difference. Can you actually hear me okay? Yep. Um, and so I'm going to tell you yeah, how one person has made a difference and created change and created something great. Um, so from the age of 18, I actually had the experience of being bullied um, when I was in the Air Force, um, which then actually led to my first domestic violence um, relationship. So I had one of two years, uh, which was actually physical and emotional, and then followed by one of 14 years, um, which was emotional. And then I finally sort of got out of it and um, went and lived with a complete stranger that I'd met um, in a training program I was in. And then, um, <laughs> yeah, that was sort of like a little bit of a mistake. But then I sort of moved on, lived with my brother for a while and then um, met my fantastic partner at the moment. So um, that was my... I don't want to go into do too much detail about um, what I went through, um, but, yeah... So that's my experience from there. As I sort of started to get stronger when I got out of that relationship, I felt that I actually needed to do something different um, to make a bit of a change there. And so um, I started talking about this pamper day with a couple of friends of mine. And then um, I got into the Marion Council Leadership Program where we actually had an opportunity to do a community project. And that's where I met Charlene Lynch, uh, Rima Tashman and um, Rachel Bainbridge. Um, and uh, we together we um, ended up coming up with this idea for the Pamper Day. Um, so then, so that, so that was back in April of this year um, when, yeah, the four of us created that. Um, the vision. Okay, so our vision is to shift awareness on domestic violence with the community and um, the survivors, regardless of their gender, sexual... Um, identity, race, age, culture, ethnicity, religion, disability, economic status, or location. You're going too quick for me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I've actually skipped a bit. Um, the committee. Um, so within a few days of this all um, being put together, um, we ended up bringing in a few more people into this. And um, so all members of the committee actually had a background in domestic violence. Um, so that consisted of myself, that was appointed the president, um, Charlene Lynch, vice president, um, Rachel then was our treasurer, Rima um, came on board to help with catering, Laurel as an advisor in the DV sector, um, Rose as our secretary, who's done some amazing work um, do, putting together our, um, our website and um, forms, email communication. Uh, Claire Johnson, um, she's our advisor in the legal sector. Um, so, yeah, so that was the committee that was formed together. Um, then we uh, created the first Pamper Day event. So it took us six weeks. <laughs> so we did the whole thing in six weeks. Um, and uh, basically sort of what I did was when um, we had actually created um, this Pamper Day, I got onto Messenger and um, all the people that I'd spoken to in the last 12 months that wanted to be involved in it um, said, hey, you know, we're going to have this Pamper Day. Do you want to get involved in this and, and have a stall or, um, you know, volunteer and that kind of thing? So um, then I had about 30 people respond and they wanted to get involved in this. Um, so this was a, a group of lo local business people putting together their resources um, to, yeah, to help with domestic violence. Um, and then Charlene asked Paula Luthan, who's member for King, to actually come along and um, open the event for us. Um, then we also teamed up with Catherine House <laughs> um, to, uh, to raise funds uh, for this event. 
services officer. Yep. Um, so there were 14 um, professionals in the end that um, ended up uh, providing these services. Uh, so there was a massage therapist, there was a, a hairstylist, there was a lady doing facials, makeup, there was mutual medics there. Um, there was also, um, we had a, a budgeting person, we had natural therapies. There was just so many different things um, that we had there. Um, there was also a sharing room that we had upstairs. So this was all located in the Marion Swim Centre. Um, so we had uh, the concourse room where most of where everything was happening and then upstairs um, the sharing room. And um, that's where we had um, a number of different inspirational people um, giving short talks on there. Wait a quick. Um, okay, so yeah, there's some photos of uh, the exhibitors that were involved. Uh, so... Yeah. Um, Is that lovely yeah, Lorel? <laughs> Lorel's up there, yeah. And that was fantastic with um, what Lorel did. So they had actually put together clothing, um, like a little clothing store sort of thing, and um, the ladies could go in there and get um, clothing ready for court and things like that. Just quick. Um, okay. Sorry. Just, like, you've just jumped through everything. That's oh, okay. sorry. Do you want to go back? <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, our sponsors were fantastic. Um, so the Marin Swim Centre actually provided the venue um, to us. Hello, welcome. Hello, Glyn. <laughs> nice to have you here. Um, I met Glyn um, a while ago at uh, an authors group, I think it was, and I heard about your story. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so Bowden Print did the, um, the printers... Okay, so that's for the speakers. That's right. <laughs> She's gone too far. Sorry. Uh, okay, so South Products. <laughs> yeah, so, so they provided um, the uh, the location for the event and also uh, the coffee and some staff. Um, Melissa actually did our logo for us and Bowden did the um, the poster and promo pack. I think that was the lanyards and, and the T-shirt printing. No, they did the lanyards. The lanyards, yeah. And... Her future moves. That was the MC yeah. for the day, and and that does use is um, the lovely Rose <laughs> <laughs> and Woolworths provided the food um, for Rima. Um, she made these beautiful like baklava and things like that um, that we sold on the day to raise yeah some funds for Catherine House. Um, okay, so we are currently working with Catherine House. So um, Charlene and I went out to Catherine House. Um, on Tuesday to meet up with Jaylee Cooper and we were just blown away by what they do there with their program and we had just walked in there thinking, oh, it's just women's shelters, but it's so much more than that. Um, they they, they um, house 16 ladies and it's almost like um, rebuilding their whole life, like getting them, um, you know, back out into society again. It's just, it's wonderful. So that's why... We wanted to get involved um, with this. It's not something you don't hear about them much at all. So, um, yeah, so we're definitely getting behind them. Um, White Ribbon, uh, Lorel, I think, was actually representing White Ribbon on the day. And Salvation Army the app. Yeah, is uh, the app that they're actually wanting to put Healing Through Love um, on their app. Yeah, and also be involved um, at our next um, event. Not Because it was put together so quickly, not everyone could get involved, um, but they certainly want to get involved in our next one. And um, the Gratitude Exchange, we're actually working with them for this movie mm -hmm. night um, that we're um, going to be holding soon. Hopefully it'll be next month. There's just a few delays. Um, but what that is is for um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Um, I don't know if you've heard of the movie that um, they've made on this famous book. And, yeah, all the, um, the profits from that um, movie is actually going to go to us, which we will then hand on to Catherine House. So, yeah, that's, that's amazing. Um, what's for the future? Um, are we looking at becoming either an incorporated association or a company? We're just <laughs> talking to a couple of lawyers and accountants at the moment and just trying to work out which is the best um, way for us to be set up. And, of course, the movie that I was talking about. And our next Panther Day is going to be the start of next year. And then we'll be looking at doing um, some other events as well. 
Yeah, and so that's all of us. Um, and we're also sort of in the process of adding a few more people to our committee because a couple of them have actually asked to sort of step out of it a bit because they don't have the commitments and that sort of thing. So, And I just want to sort of leave with a little quote at the end. Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror, just like where he says, um, I'm starting with the man in the mirror, I'm asking him to make a change. And no message could have been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and then make a change. Stand up and make that change. You know, like I said at the start, it only takes one person to make a difference or a change. Um, to, you know, anyone listening to this here or like anywhere else, if you are actually thinking of starting something, just do it. <laughs> like, um, yeah, I've put it off for years and it's just been really worth it. Just, it's, yeah really nice to give back and to help others and also to, um, with these pamper days, to give people a chance um, to, to experience things that they wouldn't be able to afford to. When I got out of the, that relationship for a while there, I was cutting my own hair, colouring my own hair, like just, you know, really just only just getting by. I left, you know, with my car and my personal belongings, so I didn't have much either. So um, I know um, what it's like to be there and to, just to have that support, to have that day of pampering. Like the women there that day, they just come up to us and said, you've just made such a difference to our lives that just by, you know, having my hair done, my makeup done, a massage, you know, it just, it's, it really does you know, help. Just one small thing like that. Um, yeah. And that's... It. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Well, thank you, the lovely nice. Natasha, and um, we'll certainly catch up with you again soon. Yeah, thank you. That's right.